but also have AI assistance in gaming too. So if you're stuck at a level, there could be AI that helps you pass that level. <laughs> AMD, yes. AI PC, yes. 二零二四年三月二十一日 ，AMD 在北京举办 AI PC 创新峰会。Good afternoon. AMD 董事会主席及首席执行官伊萨苏博士携多位 AMD 高级副总裁登台发表演讲，同时包括联想、华硕在内的重要 PC 系统合作伙伴以及众多 SV 生态伙伴，纷纷为 AMD AI PC 站台。另外，这次我们也有幸专访到 AMD 的高级副总裁、计算机图形总经理 Jack Green。With AI, we can now unlock a clean new world of possibilities with our PCs. 问了他一些关于 AMD AI PC 的未来发展规划。嘿，兄弟你好，我是哔哩哔哩数码频道放歌机的主理人，我叫猫三。你好，啊、uh, ，OK， 你好，你好 ，Good to meet you。OK， 那今天非常荣幸能够采访到您，那我们差不多可以开始了吗 ？AMD 在 AI 领域的发展战略是什么？特别是在 AI 笔记本领域，对，然后以及您是如何看待 AMD 与竞争对手在这个领域的相对位置 ？Yeah, I think it's a great question.、Um, we're Um, very confident. So we have a leadership position.、Yeah. We were the first to bring、um, AI to x86 market last year with the Ryzen 7040 series.、Mm. It was the first integrated NPU. And then this year we have、uh, launched Hawkpoint, which is the Ryzen 8040 series,、mm. which is the highest performing NPU in the marketplace today.、Yeah. Right. And then in later this year we will launch Trixpoint,、right, which is、uh, the next evolution of our, our third generation AI process, which is going to be. More than three times,、yes. right? The AI capability of、um, of today, right? So we're very, very confident.、Um, you know, AI is a pillar of our corporate strategy going forward, and we're going to double, triple down on AI and sustain this leadership through time.、Mm. We're also not just increasing the tops; we're、yeah. also pushing tops per watt.、Mm. Right. So performance per watt is very, very critical、um, for AI. So not only we increase the AI capability.、Yeah. We're actually going to increase the task per watt, so it runs at lower, lower, lower power for every generation of our、um, SOCs going forward. 在提升这个 AI PC 性能的时候 ，AMD 面临过哪些挑战？那又是如何克服这些挑战呢 ？Yeah, I think the key is the、uh, the rate of innovation. Right, we want to go as fast as possible because the AI market is changing extremely fast.、Yeah. Right, so we're working very, very hard、um, to build the best processors possible. Uh, with the leadership AI capability at the lowest possible power,、um, and that requires focus at AMD. And so now we made a strategic decision to say AI is probably the most important、um, pillar as part of our corporate strategy, and we actually have the whole company aligned towards this strategy, right? Which even a year ago was very very different. So the span of 12, 15 months,、mm. where we've now gone、um, into position where we we feel really good about it,、um, that we have leadership in AI PCs. But we're not standing still. We're not satisfied, right? We want to continue to keep pushing ourselves, to keep、um, building、um, even more impressive、um, AI PC chips、uh, for for the next several years. 今天我在现场看到非常多前沿的 AI demo， 当然对于很多用户来说，他们现在还没办法体验到这个 demo， 但是这个实际的体验对他们来说是非常重要的。所以我想问一下，说就是 AMD 在设计支持 AI PC 的时候，有没有怎么去如何支持，如何去保持更好的用户体验 ？Yeah, so we're working very, very hard with our ISV software ecosystem because not just about building great hardware, but to provide great software and great、um, third-party and first-party applications. So You know, we our goals have over 150 ISV partners by the end of this year, with a large majority being in China.、Mm. Right. So the key is not just you know higher performance; is the use case, right? So we're very focused on four big use cases. There's collaboration,、mm. uh, which is、uh, video conferencing, you know,、um, better video, better audio. But there's also AI assistance too,、okay. right? That you can actually、um, have a chat that looks at you know, how you interact. You know, run your calendar for you, or, or, or summarize your emails, or, or, or your meetings.、Mm. But it's also we sh we showed、um, the content creation creative studio today, right? With、um, text to image,、uh, but then eventually text to video as well. Yeah. Right.、Um, and then the fourth category will be gaming, right?、Uh, we will bring super resolution to gaming that's AI based,、mm. but also have AI assistance in gaming too. So if you're stuck at a level. There could be AI that helps you pass that level, right? Or if you pass the level、um, too easily, we can make it more difficult, right? So we actually make it very challenging. So it will, it will adapt、um, to the end user depending on their skill level. Okay, last question. Sure. 在直播端平台，您认为就是对于 CPU 来说，内置 NPU 的 GPU 是否会比内置 NPU 的 CPU 来更有发展前景？ 
以及未来 M D 是否有可能会推出一款内置 N P U 的特别版 G P U。<laughs> We're looking at all options, right? Because the AI、uh, market is moving so 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 fast. Yeah. Right. Today, if I think about the CPU, the CPU is very very programmable,、okay. right? But it could handle、uh, very simple um, 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 language models, right?、Um, whereas the NPU can actually handle very very complex models,、oh. but at very very low power, which is very beneficial for AI PC. And of course, the GPU, whether it's on.、Uh, A PC or in a data center can handle the largest language models.、Oh. So our goal with Ryzen AI is to leverage all three,、yeah. between the the CPU, the NPU, and the GPU,、mm. but make it seamless to the end user.、Mm. Whereas the end user doesn't have, doesn't have to worry about it, right? So we can provide the best experience possible, at the lowest possible power, at the highest quality of service, so that you can then have the longest battery life. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, in in a desktop, we we don't have to worry about battery life.、Oh. We can actually push the performance、um, even further, right? So that you can actually get、um, a super super responsive、um, res um, response time, and then get the highest performance and the highest quality. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 视频做还不错，更有帮助，别忘了点赞、收藏。我是三妹，下一期再见啦，拜拜。